Hello all, let's start with chapter polynomial. So I would be covering four marks question here. So the question says using factor theorem, factorize the polynomial. So now you can see the polynomial is actually has highest degree as four. Therefore, that means we would have four factors of same. Now let's start with the hit and trial method here. So I would be taking x equal to one here. and we'll check whether it is 0 or not then only we can say it is a factor so it will be 1 raised to power 4 1 raised to power 3 minus 7 1 raised to power square minus 1 plus 6 equal to 1 plus 1 minus 7 minus 1 plus 6 so it will be minus 6 plus 6 which is equal to 0 that means my x minus 1 is a factor so my first factor is x minus 1, the top is, and then divide the polynomial with x minus 1. So now we need to make x as x4. So we would be multiplying it with x cube. So x4 and the second term will be minus x. Now we need to change the signs. So it will be 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus x plus 6. Now we need to make x as 2x cubed. So it will be 2x squared, 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus plus. So it will be minus 7 plus 2 it will be minus 5 x squared minus x plus 6. Now we need to make x as minus 5 x squared. So I will be multiplying it with minus 5 x. So minus 5 x squared plus 5 x Now I would be changing sign here. So minus 6 x plus 6 now I need to multiply x with 6. 6 uh, it will be minus 6 because we have minus it. So minus 6 it will be minus 6x six six plus 6. And now again changing sign it will be cancelled out. So it is equal to 0. Now we have another term that is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now we need to factorize this part. So let's factorize this again. So it is x cubed. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now as you know again in the cubic form we need to take hit and trial method we need to use hit and trial method so again we will be putting value as x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 1 or so on so let's I think uh, this will go with minus 1 so let's put x equal to minus 1 first and check whether it is a factor or not so it will be minus 1 cube plus 2 minus 1 square minus 5 5 minus 1 minus 6 minus 1 plus 2 plus 5 minus 6 so the final answer would be minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 1 plus 5 is 6 6 minus 6 is 0 that means x minus 1 is a factor so that means x plus 1 is a factor here. So now I need to divide it again. Again with this polynomial. Let's divide this. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Dividing it with x plus 1. So x squared x cubed plus x squared 
minus minus it will be x square now taking the values here now i need to multiply x to uh, i need to make x square as x square so it will be multiplied as x so x square plus x change in signs again so it will be minus 6x minus 6 now i need to multiply i need to make x as minus 6 so i need to multiply it with minus 6 so minus 6x minus 6 changing signs again so we will get 0 now we need to we need to factorize it for the x square plus x minus 6 so let's factorize this this would be the last step so we, as we have 6 here and as c so we need to take factors of 6 to make x we need to split the middle term so this will be written as 3x minus 2x minus 6 would be taking common x from first two terms would be taking minus 2 common from last two terms so it will be x plus 3 x minus 2 and the last one was x plus 1 and the first one was x minus 1 so these are our four factors of this particular equation so thank you for listening